Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Burka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. And yeah, this is a quick lesson. I was just studying the book of Maccabees and, you know, I got to this part which, you know, it really, really shook me, you know, it took me. So I thought I should do a brief lesson on this. So, yeah, this is the book of um, Maccabees, chapter 2. I'll start reading from verse 18, which quotes, Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an, an aged man and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. But he, choosing rather to die gloriously than to live strained with such an abomination, spirit forth and came of his own accord to the torment, as it behoved them to come, that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast of the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use, and make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king, that in so doing he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them that find favor. So, yeah. As you can see from verse 18, so this is actually the story of when um, these hidden nations, they, they started taking a huge toll in Jerusalem, okay? So they were forcing, these are the Greeks who were forcing the Israelites to partake of their abominations and to forget their feast days. They even killed lots of children who were circumcised they killed mothers who circumcised their children you know so you had to partake of the abomination they had sacrifices that they were they sacrificed to different gods you know and they would tell the israelites to partake of this sacrifice to eat of it or they would lose their life they even got to the point where they, they, they even told the Israelites to change, to dedicate the temple to Jupiter, which is one of their pagan deities. Okay, so there is this man named Eleazar, as you can see here. He was an aged man of a well-favored countenance. Okay, so what they did was they, they knew he was someone really important, you know, one of, one of the great scribes that they had. Okay, so they took him aside and they told him that, okay, we know you're not going to eat the, the swine's flesh, but what you can do is we permit you to, to take of your own meat, which is lawful, you know, but pretend as if you're eating the, the meat of sacrifice that was commanded by the king. So this to convince the rest of the people. So that's what they told him. Now let's see what he said. And you see exactly this is what's going on even today, you know. As we know, they're pushing out the crown royal, you know, the crown royal jabs, you know, they want to poison every one of us, in which this is going to lead to the mark of the beast, as we all know. So this is exactly the same thing that's going on. And in this um in these jabs, if you take a look deep inside, they have all sorts of abominations inside, you know. I already did um a lesson way back. I don't know if it's in Italian language or in English. But I, I came out with um with um I think a, a, a an image of most of all these um ingredients that are inside the jabs, you know, and you can see they are all things that defile our spirit, that defile our souls, that go against the commandments of the most high Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So it's the whole same thing coming again in a different pattern. So now let's see, and you can see this is what they do even with most of our brethren who are, who are, you know, the so-called celebrities, you know, they take them aside, they use them, especially Eve, you know, they use them to entice us, you know, 
to entice us, you know, celebrities will come out and they'll 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 gather a whole bunch of um of of brainless um brainless individuals and they, they, they fall for their tricks, you know. So this is what they did to Eleazar. They told him, hey, hey, listen, you know, you can eat of your own lawful meat, but just pretend as if you're eating from the sacrifice of the king. So so as to convince the rest of the people. Now let's see what he said. <sighs> okay, um, I think I stopped here. Um but he chose rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. So he actually chose to go for the torment, you know, as it behoved them to come that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man, Taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use, and as if he did eat of the flesh, taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king, that in so doing he might be delivered from death and from the old friendship with them, find favor. But he began to consider discreetly. So this is after they told him, to eat the lawful meat and pretend as if he was eating from the sacrifice. So he began to consider discreetly, and as became his age and the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his, of his gray hair, whereon was come, and his most honest education from a child, or rather the holy law, okay, made and given by Yahweh. Therefore, he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. You know, this is the spirit Jake had need to have, you know, because there is a time coming very soon. You know, things are still just like, you know, um, they're painting us and, you know, but things are really going to get really crazy very soon. You know, if the most High opens your eyes, then you can see the writing on the wall that we are actually at the end of this Edomite this wicked, we are actually at the end of their, of their, of their kingdom. And they know, they know about it. That's why they are rolling out, you know, trying to make all these things, you know, come out all of a sudden. Like here in Italy, for example, you know, they're just playing some games, you know. They actually make it look like, you know, the jabs are scarce. There are no more jabs, you know. We lack, we are lacking jabs and all these things. You know, would need some more jobs. So they start talking about a different kind of, you know, start contemplating on um accepting the Russian and the Chinese jobs, you know. But now what they're trying to say, you know, at the beginning they said that um they were going to start from the old older ages, you know. So now they are they say these new jobs that that are coming in, you know, they they, they will have to start from the younger, from the younger people, you know. So you see the, the, the deception of what they're trying to do. And in no time, they're trying to change, you know, um, their minister. They're trying to change the president, you know. So they're, they're actually playing a game. And the next guy that is going to enter is going to put in all those draconian laws, you know. He's going to put in all those draconian laws. So we're just here watching, you know. Things are really going to get crazy very soon because the reason why... They're making this um president to quit is because they're saying um he's slow with he's slow with the plan and they need someone who is going to you know impose these laws really fast and quick so that so as to get the economy back on feet, you know. So this is just all you know the plans of this wicked and this is how they're going to come out really crazy and furious, you know. So this is exactly the same thing that is going to happen to most of us, you know, we're going to find ourselves in a situation whereby we need to choose, you know, either to go for this, this mark of the beast, this pre-mark of the beast, you know, which this is just the introduction to the mark of the beast, in which we know the mark of the beast is the microchip. And, and this is this uh, mark sin is something we shouldn't even take, you know, because this is just the, the prelude to to, to the mark of the beast, you know. So once 
they will come and they will try to you know, make people take it in different ways, you know. And, you know, this is exactly what we're going to face, you know, either to choose the most high or choose the, the, the freedom, the, the illusion of freedom of this mad and dirty life of this wicked, you know. So let's keep reading. For it becometh not our age, said he, in any wise, to the same book whereby many young persons might think that Elias had been four score years old and ten were now gone to a strange religion. So when they told him to act as if he was taken from the king's um sacrifice in which he could have his um his lawful meat so as to de deceive the youth, you know. So he didn't choose choose that. He preferred to die rather than deceiving the youth to 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 go and bow for this um for this abomination. And you see, this is the problem with most of our of our celebrities, most of the of the so called renowned men, you know, putting some of them in positions in power, you know, the president of the United States, you know, electing black people, the sons of Israel, electing many of them in positions, you know. These are sold out people and they're going to get punished for all this, you know. They're supposed to they're supposed to be of example and not deceive the mass, the great mass of the house of Yasharala. So as we're reading here, you see, and so they through mine hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and a moment longer should be deceived by me, and I get a strain to mine own age and make it abominable. For though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive or dead. So this is really deep, man. You know? So you see, it is really hypocrisy, you know, because you live for a short time by men, you know? Then um, you get other people deceived. But if the most time wants to take your life, it takes your life anytime, you know? So at the end of the day, it's going to be, you're really going to be wise not, you know, falling for this, for these tricks of this devil, you know, because if you take it, you know, you might spare your life for a short time, but the most I could take your life anytime, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to make this short story, you know, it's, I would advise brothers to read this book really, because this book is a really charge of fate, because after this incident, it, it decided not to take it and they, and they killed him, you know. So when they killed him, you know, they had a family of six or seven, you know, which they had the children, the father and the mother. You know, they all stood boldly and decided not to, not to bow themselves and defile themselves by eating this swine's flesh abominations, you know. And the king had to kill all of them one by one. And before he was killing them, you know, he was he was promising them a lot of things that if they if they if they if they if they obey his commandments, he was going to make them friends of the king, he was going to make them rich forever and all these things. And this is the same thing, you know. Lots of jakes are going to fall for this. The illusion of highs, you know, in which our hearts are supposed to be set on the kingdom to come. Well, I hope this lesson edifies someone today. Having said this, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yehawah, Bahashem Yehawah Shai, Bahashem Burukah Kodash, and double honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, GMS, for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. So, Shalawam, on to the next one.